Today I'm making some turns at the venerable Catamount Ski Area in the Berkshires, right on the New York Mass border. Catamount has a number of classic New England trails, several of them mile-long cruisers. They've got eight beginner runs in the Meadows area and the Double Black Diamond Catapult Trail. Everything's open here at Catamount thanks to aggressive early season snowmaking and more than seven feet of natural snow this season. If you've been thinking about a mid-season tune-up for your equipment, now's a good time to do it. This week's mild weather changed the surface snow, but trail counts have not been affected at Bryce or Massanutten. The warm-up hardly put a dent in the substantial bases at the Homestead and Wintergreen. Everything's open tree-line to tree-line at Timberline, Canaan Valley, and at Blue Knob. The efforts of the snowmakers earlier this season at Liberty Roundtop and Whitetail paid big dividends this week. How about a ride on the mountain coaster at Wisp, a couple of runs through the many terrain parks at Seven Springs, or a long cruiser at Snow Mountain? New York resorts are well worth the trip right now. How about a weekend at Wyndham, Gore, or Tall Whiteface up in Lake Placid? In Vermont, Killington and Stowe picked up several inches of snow Monday night when the cold air returned. Out west, a jet stream pattern change will bring fresh snow in the coming days to Sun Valley, Jackson Hole, and Park City. If you're headed for Telluride, Deer Valley, or Snowbird, your timing's great because the flakes have started to fly late this week throughout the west. After a mild week, colder temperatures will return to the east this weekend. I'm Herb Stevens, a skiing weatherman.